Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly here. This video presentation is Torah Prophecies 108. Okay. Now, essentially, I'm affirming and reaffirming what I taught in Torah Prophecies 107. It's essentially the same idea. I have a feeling that interpreting Daniel chapter 12, the book of Daniel chapter 12, but Daniel will rest for a while in his old age and then will die and stand with his allotment, um, his reward, which I feel is is at the end of days, once, he, once he's had his rest, he will go to the allotment in the heavenlies where the Son of Man saints assemble before the Ancient of Days in the heavenlies, as per Daniel chapter 7. That the destiny of those who are who are biblical uh, in their faith, who ascribe to the covenants, will receive a heavenly destiny in the afterlife. So that includes Judaism and Christianity and Talmud-based Noahidism. Why the Talmudics are included is that their doctrine incorporates Israel's covenant at times in applicability because they can voluntarily, according to the official doctrine, apply some of Israel's Torah mitzvot. That's their doctrine. That is not the doctrine of Karai Noahide faith. We do not partake of Israel's covenant. What we would normally do is that we can come into agreement with some of the rules. The, the doctrine is that we might agree with that idea, but we don't observe anything of Judaism. Whereas Talmudic Noahidism does observe Judaism to a fair extent. We are in reality a separate covenant with the world. We don't present, pretend to be Israel's covenant. So because of that, we are not bound by the, the doctrine of the hereafter in the book of Daniel and being part of the everlasting kingdom. Christianity accepts the Old Testament, the Torah, and the way Islam and Baha'i are structured with paradise being the primary thing, I don't think they're going to escape it either. But for Kara and Nohides, we're eternal on earth. For the advancing no moment anyway, the earth-based one. I've had the Tree of Life experience in 2010, 2011, when I was approximately 38 years old at Lake Tuggerong Pool in Tuggeranong in Canberra. I'll be residing here permanently, as far as I understand. But Israel and the church, I feel primarily, their destiny is heavenly. The uh, destiny of the saints of the kingdom is to rule in the heavenlies and being the authority in the world, serving Almighty God, the Ancient One, the Ancient of Days, it would seem. So I, I, that's the doctrine I think I probably now affirm. I've been through the Book of Daniel many times over the years, and I've questioned it severely and doubted it. But I think I probably accept it in the general sense that it's a scriptural work. I don't think it's necessarily quite the Word of God. But it is a scriptural work, and it's probably accepted as a canon by God, because it's how the people are judged with the Bible. So I would affirm again generally the idea that Torah Prophecies 107 is probably the standing, which I currently have, and I'd affirm that that idea is generally the doctrine of the advancing moment.